While multiplying larger numbers involves more steps, it's not necessarily more challenging if you know the steps to organize the process. So what strategies can we use to organize multi-digit multiplication? In this lesson, you will learn how to organize the steps to solve a multi-digit multiplication problem by setting up an area model of multiplication. The most essential step to organizing your work for multi-digit multiplication is having a solid understanding of place value. Writing large numbers is based around positional power, so the number 4,368 is a combination of four numbers represented by four digits. It's the digit 8 representing eight ones, or just the number 8. The digit 6, which, because of its position to the left of the 8, represents six tens, or the number 60. The digit 3, which is in the position to the left of the tens, represents three hundreds, or the number 300. And the digit 4, to the left of the hundreds, is in the thousands place, which equals four thousands, or the number four thousand. Let's look at multiplying 368 by 7. Because there's three places in 368, we'll be multiplying by 7 three times, one for each place. So here's how the area model works for larger numbers. We begin with a rectangle, writing our single digit on the left vertical side. Knowing that we have three place values, we're going to break this rectangle into three sections. I like our 100 section to be slightly larger than our 10 section, and our 10 space to be slightly larger than our 1's. This will help us in our next step. Now we're going to write out the number sentence that shows the amount of each individual section. So our first has 7 rows with 300 in each row, totaling 2,100. Our 10 section has 7 rows with 60 in each row for a total of 420. And finally, this says our one section has seven rows with eight in each row for a total of 56. Now let's move ahead and look at what happens when we have a four-digit number using the area model. Again, we're going to start with our large rectangle and our single digit on our left vertical side. Because we have four place values, we're going to split this rectangle up into four sections. Again, I'm going to leave my thousand space slightly larger than our hundred space, our hundred space slightly larger than our tens, and our tens section slightly larger than our ones. Now again, I use the same process. I'm going to write the number sentence for each one of these sections. 4,000 times 7 equals 28,000. 300 times 7 equals 2,100. 60 times 7 equals 420, and 8 times 7 equals 56. The major mistake you want to avoid when setting up your area model is not respecting each digit's position. Many students, when they're first learning multi-digit multiplication, expand 4,368 like this. They write out their number sentences, and they're going through the correct process. The only problem is that they haven't respected the number that each digit represents. That's no ordinary four. That's to the left of the hundreds. It's in the thousands place, so it's not a four, it's a four thousand. So the number sentence is four thousand times seven, which is very different than four times seven. The three is in the hundreds place, so it's not a three, it's the number three hundred, or three hundred times seven. The digit six is in the tens place, so it's not the number six, it's the number sixty, or sixty times seven. That eight, well, okay, that's an ordinary eight, but that's because it's in the place just to the left of the decimal point, the ones place. So it is eight times seven. In this lesson, you've learned how to organize the steps to solve a multi-digit multiplication problem by setting up an area model for multiplication.